I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode of the Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Power Energy Toothpaste, the world's first caffeinated toothpaste. Support Daily Dose of Weird News and Marlar House every time you brush. Grab a tube of Power Energy Toothpaste for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A Canadian man used a wine bottle to fend off a bear attack, and he managed to walk away with just a few claw marks and a sore back. The 44-year-old man was in a remote area of Saskatchewan when a bear approached him. The man used his wine bottle to defend himself and said he punched the bear in the nose. You know, and to think his wife kept telling him, someday the bottle's gonna kill you. Well, now he can say quite the opposite. Police and prosecutors in Dallas, Texas, understandably and perhaps appropriately sensitive at having been the site of the 1963 killing of President Kennedy, have apparently taken out their shame and frustration on assassination buff Robert Grodin. As of this month, Mr. Grodin has been ticketed by police 82 times over the years for operating book sales booths near the Grassy Knoll, an area that some say was the location of an alleged second shooter involved in the assassination. But perhaps Grodin would have given up if he had not prevailed and won his court case every single time. Yep, 82 straight wins, no kidding. So now, what's the definition of insanity again? North Korea reportedly wants to launch a rocket to the moon. And so does my three-year-old nephew, but that's not going to happen either. A high school English teacher in Ontario, Canada has been suspended after using offensive language towards a student. Jennifer Elizabeth Green Johnson was suspended from her job at Dunville Secondary School for saying to a student, why don't you lick me where I fart? Rather than losing her job, though, she has decided to accept being transferred to the Canadian Naval Academy, where cursing like a sailor is expected. Two bottles of orange juice that retailed for $1.69 at Dollar General will end up costing the chain more than a quarter of a million dollars – because they acted like idiots. Seems that Linda Atkins, a diabetic former employee, was working at a Dollar General in Maryville, Tennessee back in 2011 when she felt a hypoglycemic attack coming on. Well, the main cashier was on a break, and so to avoid leaving the cash register unattended and for the security of the store, Atkins grabbed a bottle of OJ from the cooler, drank it, and then paid for it once her blood sugar had stabilized. Well, it happened again a few months later, so she was fired for grazing. Well, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, they sued on her behalf, and she has now been awarded $27,565 in back wages and $250,000 in compensatory damages. Oh yeah, and before you go there, Miss Atkins did ask her supervisor if she could keep her own juice at the register, but was told that that violated store policy. Which is true except for the part of the policy that allows exceptions for people with medical needs. Lisa Lowbury was walking near the Philadelphia Art Museum one recent morning when she heard a rustling in the trees above her and was suddenly slammed in the face with what turned out to be a five-pound catfish. Witnesses saw a bird, possibly a hawk or eagle, flying away. The bird had apparently dropped the foot-long fish, which fell more than 50 feet through tree branches before hitting Lobry, who was left with a cut on her face. Obviously punishment for eating at that KFC Long John Silver's Combo restaurant earlier in the day. The Arizona Republic is among a growing group of traditionally conservative newspapers that have switched sides and endorsed Hillary Clinton for president. It's the first time the Republic has endorsed a Democratic presidential candidate since the newspaper began publishing a century and a quarter ago. And this would be even more amazing if people still read newspapers. Come on, America, how stupid are you? After being tricked into microwaving their phones in order to recharge them and believing an update made their phones waterproof, one would think that iPhone users would have wised up to insane pranks involving their phones. Nope. The latest is a video making the rounds instructing iPhone 7 users to drill a hole into the end of their phones to create a headphone jack. And people are doing it, too. The prank video was created by YouTuber Teres Moximuk, who is known for making videos where he destroys technology. In fact, Moximuk has several videos on his channel where he destroys iPhone 7s. 
but it appears that those who actually drilled holes into their expensive new phones never even bothered to look at the dude's previous uploads. In his video, Terrace is seen drilling a 3.5mm hole into the bottom left edge of the iPhone 7 in order to reveal a quote-unquote hidden headphone jack. After conducting this mad surgery, Maximuk is seen plugging headphones into the iPhone 7, which can now supposedly play music through the earbuds. And people are doing it. Dutch police have come up with a way to tackle an increasing number of drones in the skies by becoming the world's first force to employ eagles as winged warriors. A series of tests have been organized since early 2015, and the Dutch forces announced the good results this week. The Eagles will now be launched whenever drones are believed to be posing a danger to the public, such as during sensitive state visits or if the remote-controlled tiny craft are flying too close to airports. Hey, wait a minute, why don't we just drop the drones, have Eagles deliver pizza to the door? That would rock! Find more weird news, download the free mobile app, check out my YouTube channel, and listen to other podcasts I host at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar.